first. I don't trust me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Pennsylvania Picker Tanner here. And Clay is right. actually here this time. Mm -hmm. Fat ass isn't here. And neither is Billy. So, but I, oh well. It, 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 it was a fun weekend. Or trip. Day. Yeah, we had a good day. We went to Penn's Cave. Even though there was like no one there. It was really hot. The people were nice. Like and nine, we got a couple, I got a couple nice things. Clay got a couple nice things. Nice. So, I'll go over mine first. Since Clay said I should. So, the first, well. We were originally just going for, uh games but then i was just like well i kind of want some more stuff so at the same place where i got the these first three games i also got a couple other things that i'll show i got destination earth star for the nes haven't played i haven't played any of these games yet that i got um but hopefully they're really good and i got infiltrator for the nes and then Top Secret Episodes Golgo 13, which looks pretty rare, but I'm not sure about that. And then at the same place, I got a whole bunch of ET collectible stuff. I got this glass, which is like one out of the set from the Pizza Hut collection, which I know a place where I can get the rest of them. But then I got like this hoodie, or this hoodied ET with the cardigan on. And then, um,. I didn't get that there, but then I got this hat, which I wore into Marcus's, where I got some other things that I'll show later, and then I got this weird, non-looking ET thing, too, and I, like, I have a couple Simpsons dolls that are like this, that are supposed to be like something, like, they look like something popular, but then they don't at all because of the face, and like this is one of them. So I have to do some research on this one because I'm pretty sure it's not like an ET. It looks like one, but I don't think it is. But then I got this really tall wireframe ET doll, which was pretty cool. Probably gonna start sleeping with that. And then um, okay, so then. On down the row at this lady's place, Clay saw a couple of action figures that he wanted to get because we're going back tomorrow. So, and I think Mason's coming with us tomorrow. So, hopefully, um, we'll go up tomorrow and have some fun. But anyway, so I got this at that lady's. I got a. I didn't check to see if there were others of these, which I kind of want to go back and see. But it's a Back of the Future Wendy's kids meal toy. And I've never seen these before, so I picked it up for a dollar. Oh, yeah, and by the way, all the E.T. stuff and the NES games were about $40, so. And then I got this E.T. patch for a dollar, which at first I thought it was a patch, but then I realized it's not a patch at all. It's this thing off the hat. So if I ever lose that off the hat, I have a backup spare one. And then later on, nearly this one of the last heroes... We stopped at, there was this guy that had a whole bunch of knickknacks and keychains in this one basket. And uh, there were a couple of Simpsons, like, bendables in there. And then I got Maggie, uh, Lisa, and Bart together in a bag, plastic baggie, for $2. And it's like, what, you can't really go wrong with $2. So, and then, and then I'm going to show, or Clay's going to show his Penn's Cave stuff before... I show the stuff that I got from Marcus's. Alright, I only got two games from this one tent. We got Top Gear here. I don't know. Looks pretty good. I don't know really anything about it. They're both four dollars. We got freaking Jackal, Jackal with the shell. Looks a little bit dirty, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah. Well, that's all Clay Boy, got. Remember, always don't misunderstand a tattooed man. Oh, yeah. The guy running the uh, tent had a tattoo on his arm. And it's like, never. Always remember, all, don't always. underestimate a tattooed man. That, that's true. That's like life wisdom right there. And, like, keep that by heart.
So, and then a Marcus's. I got these two NES games, 1943, and then Platoon. And so, we're gonna go up right now. And if you're wondering, no, I didn't. We didn't get these this weekend. I wish we would have found stuff like that this weekend, but no. But we're taking the NES and then the SNES upstairs so we can try out all these games to make sure that they work. And if they don't, then I'm probably just gonna. We're probably gonna sell them. Be really ticked. <laughs> Be really mad, especially if Jackal works, because we looked up reviews and stuff on Jackal, and it, it looks really cool. Dude, it looks so good. And um. While we were at Marcus's, we played Ghosts and Goblins in 1942, and so, and not like, Clay wants to play it some more, so I got out this plug-and-play that I had from, like, five. It's, like, sponsored by Sega. I had all the ones that were sponsored by Sega, like the black box ones. Any of the other ones that they released recently, I don't have. I only have, like, the ones from when I was, like, five. You had that from age five. Yeah. And then, um... But this one had uh, Street Fighter 2 and um, Ghosts and Goblins on it, so we're going to have to play. And it was really funny, too, because when I started playing Ghosts and Goblins, they all just kind of gathered around and watched me play. <laughs> really, really funny. Like, someone could have honestly came in and robbed them. <laughs> like, no They're one would have known. They were into it. But it was really cool, so... Yeah, we're going to go upstairs, uh, I'm going to get some footage of the games, that way you guys know what they're like, if you don't know what any, most of them are, so, and that's basically what it's going to be like, because most of the games that I see at flea markets, I don't know about, like this one, like, I have never even heard of this game, like, or the other ones, but when I see brands like, um, this one had... I've seen that one before. That one is basically it's the same brand as the uh, p uh, Piano Trainer game on the NES, and then uh, this one's made by Acclaim, so it's probably not that bad. But this one is made by Vic Tokai, Japanese man, and it's supposed to be an FPS and a side scroller. So we're gonna have to check that out. So we will check in with you guys later tomorrow tomorrow maybe. and maybe tomorrow and um try try and get some footage with uh with the games anything you want to say before we leave oh no i'm just like really psyched about getting this black figurine head oh yeah, yeah. for you about want, fifty dollars <laughs> you want to uh, show them a picture yeah keep them busy clay's dad likes to uh collect black black, black dolls people and with dolls and stuff right like that here. like right there it looks awesome. Like, it says Smiling Sam from Alabam, Alabam, Salted Peanut. Yeah, pretty cool. I want to get it from my dad. So, there were a couple other things there that I wanted to get too, but I wasn't going to get them today. And upcoming events are going to be, there's going to be a community yard sale here next weekend. Um, Mason, and hopefully Clay will be able to attend that one too. Usually yeah. there's going to be a lot more there. I don't quite remember last uh, last year's turnout i remember seeing a couple things but my friend said he got a couple game boys there so hopefully it'll be decent but um other than that what i was <laughs> what i was talking about also in a black gi joe oh yeah hoping to get one of those <laughs> yeah we saw bucks gi joes up there we wanted to get those hopefully we'll see that tomorrow and then um I wanted to get a box Sega Dreamcast. Thirty bucks th for thirty bucks. We're gonna try and talk them down to twenty. So, yeah, that's it for now. We're gonna go up and try these games out here pretty soon and check back with you and upload this shick and then upload the gameplay and then definitely get some footage tomorrow since Mason's gonna be there. Although we're gonna use his camera since it's like high quality so we will check in with you guys later